rid of those jammies, huh? You are so cute, baby. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yum. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. It's breakfast time. I love having oatmeal in the morning and so does Logan. You could see that he loved helping to measure everything out, which I think is so cute. So we're gonna put this organic frozen berry mixture into our oatmeal once it's almost done cooking. I just like the berries to stay a little bit more whole and then when you mix them into the oatmeal really well, the heat from the oatmeal kind of breaks them down a little bit, makes them a little sweeter and it gets them to not be frozen anymore, but still keeps them whole. And today we tried some cacao powder here just to make it a little bit chocolatey and it was actually very very good so I would definitely recommend that and then after we added the cacao powder we put it into a bowl and then we like to put on some brown sugar on top which you can see we like to add plenty of brown sugar if I had coconut sugar that that would be a way better option but I was out and then we always do a scoop of peanut butter with some chocolate chips and you're about to see his cute little hands helping me he really wanted to help pour the chocolate chips out which of course I'm all about <laughs> so enjoy him helping to pour these cute little chocolate chips out and then asking for a few of them in his hand afterwards. You want some in your hand? <laughs> that was cute, Dewey. There you have it. A mess of chocolatey, berry filled, peanut butter and chocolate chip topped oatmeal for our breakfast this morning. We like a sweet breakfast and savory, honestly, but I like my oatmeal to be sweet. We're gonna go eat this. Mm. <laughs> yes, you can have a chocolate chip. <laughs> Me too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry <laughs> that's the ultimate bite breakfast is done. It is time to brush our teeth. Anybody else have kiddos who love to brush their teeth? He is super obsessed with it and I was not expecting that at all. I thought all kids hated to brush their teeth but not Logan. It's before 10 a.m. but I'm actually prepping our dinner for tonight which was the best idea ever. I love the crock pot. So I'm taking our pork butt. I rinsed it and dried it off. Just pat it dry and then I'm making a little rub with some salt and pepper and some oregano as well as some olive oil. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that to both sides of the meat and make sure I'm rubbing the spices in. And then you'll see on the left side of the screen there is my like juice that I'm going to be putting over the top of the meat in the crock pot. And it's honestly all you need. It wasn't very much but in that juice is some pineapple juice some fresh orange juice one whole chopped onion chili powder and a dash of hot sauce I'm gonna throw it into the crock pot for seven hours on high you could also do 10 hours on low make sure your lid is on and it's plugged in I've made that mistake before the next thing I'm gonna do is prep some rice I have four cups of vegetable broth and four cups of this short grain brown rice in my instant pot I'm gonna go ahead and struggle with the lid here Then I go ahead and set it on pressure cook at high pressure for 24 minutes and I let it natural release for 23 minutes and then I'll go ahead and vent it myself and it makes the perfect brown rice. It's steamy but it's really good and then just fluff it up with a spoon or fork and we're going to have lunch. Orange. Whoa. Some of everything. How about that? There you go. Say thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so whew, it's lunchtime and usually I actually sit down with Logan to eat lunch. There's hardly ever that I don't, but I need to get a workout in and I don't really wanna use his nap time to do that and I'm not quite hungry yet. I am going to use this time to do a quick little 18 minute Pilates workout. I just search pregnancy Pilates or prenatal Pilates on YouTube. Just pull up one of those where somebody talks through it because I like the ones where they talk through it. So you can see like, 
like my house is still a mess you guys but I gotta make this a priority and I've been doing really good at it for the last, this will be the fifth day. <laughs> so I'm very proud of myself. I like to just clear out enough space for me to be able to do it, which you can't really see. It's kind of like below the camera. Then I like to vacuum too, so that I'm not like stepping on crumbs while I'm trying to do this. workout is done and now it's time for me to make my lunch. I'm just going to go ahead and start with a brown rice base before I put away the rest of the brown rice for meal prepping. But then I'm just using the leftovers that I had from last night. So on top we have some refried beans right there. And then on the bottom we have a mixture of rotisserie chicken, diced tomatoes, green olives, spinach, and some taco seasoning mix. And I just heated that all up in the microwave honestly. And then I'm going to go ahead and plate it on top of my brown rice. I didn't end up using everything I thought I would but I wasn't quite as hungry as I thought. Um, and then after that, I like to put my toppings on. So I just used one of my single serve guac packets, which are perfect if you're the only one in your house who likes guac, just like me. <laughs> and then some of this organic Jack's Cantina salsa that I get from Costco. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times in my Costco hauls. And as you can see, we love salsa in this house. So those are the only two toppings I'm putting on it, just keeping it simple for today. And this is lunch. I thought I would show you guys our little walk that we are also taking for exercise today. It's just beautiful outside and we've got a plane going overhead. It's sunny. It's still winter, so it's a little bit chilly, but honestly, we're having a great time out here. Wanted to explain a little bit about our diet. It's really a lifestyle and how we choose to eat now. So we are gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and corn-free. If you've watched my grocery hauls before, you probably have caught on to that. If you follow my Instagram where I post a ton of recipes, you've caught on to that. And I really focus on eating mainly mainly organic and good ingredients. It has made the big, biggest difference in our lives in the way that we feel. I don't think I realized how badly I was feeling until I had to change my diet. It started off because Derek has allergies to all of those things, but I didn't really get serious about it until I noticed Logan was having a lot of spit up right now at the beginning of our breastfeeding journey. And so I cut out all of those things to see if it would help him. It did, he was still a spitty baby, but it, it wasn't hurting him. He was just like a happy spitter. Anyways, I cut out all those things and realized how good I felt. I decided to keep going with it. And and now that is how we eat. But Logan and Derek do eat cheese. They just really like it. So, do you need help? <laughs> he always comes to wipe his hands off on my pants. <laughs> the boy does not like dirty hands and I don't blame him, he's just like me. If you guys have any questions about why we eat the way we do or anything that I've missed, leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I'm just never sure what quite to touch on with this stuff, but it makes the biggest difference in your life. If you can start eating clean and healthy and focusing on what goes into your body, Give it some time, give it 30 days, and you would be shocked at how much better you feel. Crazy things happen when you start listening to your body, right? <laughs> oh, sometimes we are so stubborn in doing that. Anyways, we are on our little walk right now. Here is what our amazing pulled pork turned out like in the crock pot. This is seven hours later and I just shredded it up. It honestly just fell apart on its own. I'm gonna use my new cast iron skillet with just a little bit of olive oil in there. And then I'm putting the meat down to get it crisp, which is definitely a must have with this recipe. And then I put a little bit of the juices in there as well. I'm also gonna make some of these garlic butter mushrooms that I've made before with you guys. Super easy, you just put in a pat of butter with the mushrooms and then salt and garlic. And then we're gonna be making some Something very similar like we did for lunch. We love taco bowls in our house, so we're gonna be making some pulled pork taco bowls with a base of brown rice. And then we have our pulled pork right on top of there and some fresh, crisp romaine lettuce. Oh, that lettuce was actually so, so good. I'm also gonna do some guac on mine because of course, and then some mango salsa as well. I also get this one at Costco. And you guys, it's worth a trip just for the mango salsa alone. And then I went ahead and also added on some garlic butter mushrooms. This is dinner. I'm so excited. So yeah, it's really similar to lunch. This usually doesn't happen, but I am showing you a realistic what I eat in a day. And I had to eat those leftovers for lunch, but man, this carnitas meat is so good. I was taste testing it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we're not gonna eat the entire thing tonight. So we have a base of brown rice. 
We have some garlic butter mushrooms. We have some guac, some mango salsa, some lettuce, and then the carnitas that I made. And honestly, I'd love more, even more toppings on here, but that carnitas is gonna shine regardless. So excited. Are you loving it? No bib today? Uh-oh. Hey, where's your bib? <laughs> you want it? <laughs> yes or no? No, no bib? What do you want? Some of Dad's. <laughs> it is obviously nighttime. I just took a shower, which you can see. I still have my hair up in the bun. Anyways, just thought I'd show you what I'm having for a snack for bedtime. Cole is like licking his lips because he wants them so bad. <laughs> I wanted to turn you around. So basically you take two slices of banana. You put a little bit like a smear of peanut butter inside. You can see that. After you've done that, just freeze them on a plate on parchment paper. And then when you take them out of the freezer, I don't know, it takes like 30 minutes. You're going to dip them in melted chocolate, throw them back in the freezer. And I like to keep mine in the freezer. I don't think they do well in the fridge, but they are so good. I have four left. So I'm eating all four of these tonight. Typically I don't like to eat snacks before bed while I'm pregnant. It's very hard for me to not eat snacks before bed because otherwise I will wake up at like 3 a.m. with hunger pains. So that's telling me I need a snack before bed. The reason I don't like to do snacks before bed when I'm not pregnant is because I do intermittent fasting, but also uh, it just never really sits right with my stomach, like like, like not giving it enough time to digest. Hope you guys enjoyed this, what I eat in a day while pregnant. If you did, leave it down in the comments below so I can know. Smash that like button so that I will know to make more of these videos in the future. I would love to do that for you guys. You know I have such a passion for food. So see you guys next time. Bye.